Instead of responding to a request from Alexei Navalny's mother, Mr. Putin has instead issued um, fresh charges against his brother, Oleg. And uh, the, is, is this typical of the man? Is this typical of Mr. Putin? It doesn't matter, as I've said so many times now, it doesn't matter whether Mr. Putin is alive or whether he's dead, whether he's going to uh, travel to North Korea in a bulletproof train, in a plane, or in the back of um, a Federal Express in the frozen pea department. It doesn't really matter whether he is frozen or whether he is warm-blooded. Uh, he is already um, somebody who has abandoned humanity. And when faced with the image of a mourning mother, uh, he decides to go for the rest of her family. Well, he's already... Uh, the uh, uh, Alexei Navalny's brother has already been condemned to four and a half years, I think, in prison in absence. And uh, th this was on fraud charges, which were simply designed to um, place further pressure on Alexei. And... This is nonsensical. When history is written, it will be quite clear uh, who was right. And it will be quite clear that Putin was not only wrong, but thuggishly wrong. And I, I think at this particular moment, it's very difficult to see how Mr. Putin can change. He is locked into uh, this downward spiral that uh, in, into um, evil and corruption and there is there doesn't seem to be a way out for him and maybe i i i'm afraid you know to 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 um, to touch on social media heresy maybe this is where diplomacy should be focusing finding a way out for mr putin i think uh looking at the tucker carlson interview i think mr putin was calling out for a way out, a way out of this war, a way out of this mess that is self-induced, um, that he has created. And, and various people have been saying, oh, how could a dead Putin be responsible for uh, the assassination of Alexei Navalny? That assassination took place the day when Alexei Navalny was imprisoned, the day when he came back to Russia. That is, that is the point at which Putin takes responsibility for the death of Navalny. The actual um, death, whether he was beaten up in the snow, whether he was injected with Novichok, or, or whether he just uh, collapsed from his injuries and from the sheer pressure of being kept for so many days beyond the 15 allowed in an isolation cell. This is inhumane. This is against Russian law, as indeed it's against Russian law to withhold the body of somebody who's been in prison and has died in prison. It's against Russian law. And simply on the basis of Russian law, Mr. Putin is a criminal. And that's what, that's what we, <clears throat> we in the West need to recognise, that Putin is a criminal on his own territory. And I'm sure that's something that <coughs> uh, Yulian uh, Navalnaya will, will stress over the next coming days.